welcome to Iwate Prefecture. I am in Tono right now um, and I've decided to come to this farming village. It's actually like a reconstruction of a traditional farming village and I thought it would just be really cool to see because I've never experienced anything like that. So this place is called Tono Furusato Mura and it's about a 25 minute drive from the station I would say. I'll put all the instructions on how to get here down below but um, yeah I just arrived and we're gonna go check out some of the buildings now. Here's a map behind me of the place. It's pretty large actually. So this is where we arrived and we are just headed up to this place up here and apparently they have some horses in these buildings and I'm going to be making some traditional crafts a little later on today. Um, and there's some other stuff to see here and we're also going to be eating some like traditional food from Iwate which I'm really looking forward to but yeah it just started snowing <laughs> so that's interesting. It's not bad. As long as it doesn't rain I'll be happy. And they've given me some cute pink boots to wear so that I can walk through the snow. Alright, let's go inside. There's some like, there's dolls in here. Oh, there's a little write-up about them. Look at it. Check it out. That's huge. I wonder what they use it for. Kurete Masaka. Well, this is interesting. It's lucky, I, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's read about it. Wara Ningyo. これ <laughs> so these old buildings actually aren't reconstructed. They moved them here from their original place. That's really cool. It's smoky in here. We're going to see the horse now. There's a horse in here apparently. Hello. <laughs> あの、馬鎌。あ、これ馬鎌。うん。あの、森は本名は庭鎌というね。庭。この部屋は、あれ、また一緒に土下座するもんだから、馬の斧に出するな。多分ここにいた差し込むと思うんですけどね。This is an old bathtub. The beginning of the Showa period. It's when they used these. All right, we're just gonna walk around now and look for some more horses um, and check out the other buildings and see what they have in there. Wow. <gasps> it's huge. I think this is the one that they told us was 17 or 18 years old, so that's like apparently around 70 in human years. It's so big! I've never seen such a big horse. I, don't, I guess you guys can't really tell how big it is, but it's huge. Look at the view! Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> で、
、上り下りをさせてたみたいな話を聞きました。なのでパッと見てそこがあの二階があるよっていうふうにわからないようにしていたっていうふうに聞かされてます。So she was just explaining that inside there are some hidden rooms in this house, and they're not sure exactly why this house had those hidden rooms. They don't know what they were hiding in there. But one theory was that they were Christians in a time where being Christian wasn't acceptable here. So they would have those rooms so that they could pray in there and hide from others and so that it wouldn't be seen. They would have one patch of land where they would grow the grass for the roofs, and they would, it would just have enough for one roof. So each year they would change the roof of one house. So they would choose, like, oh, this year will be this. Family, so that's cool. They grow all the materials themselves and change the roofs themselves. Nowadays, they don't do that, they、uh, get a, a pro to do it. <laughs> But yeah, I thought that was really neat. Yay! We're gonna be making some tombo, bamboo flying toilet. Yeah, we're gonna be making some tombo, bamboo flying toys. I don't really know how to translate that into English, but it's a traditional Japanese toy, and we're gonna make them today. Alright, so it starts like this, and then you have to shave away the sides of it and end up with something like that. Can I do it? w a t a o n a Go s h a s u k u n a t a <laughs> I don't know if it will fly. Tobu no kana, yate mi mas. Ake kopta. Koyate, tobasu no? Koyate? Yeah, it's time to eat lunch now. So we've come to the little restaurant that they have on site here, and they've got some special iwate dishes. So I'm gonna try a couple of those, I think. There's this one made out of mochi that I've been really, really looking forward to. I looked it up and、um, they have it here, so awesome. Kitsumi is one of the most famous local dishes of iwate. Dough, which is made of flour and water, is flattened and pulled off into small pieces and put into a soy sauce broth. And it also includes lots of vegetables like carrot, mushrooms, burdock root, onion, etc. It looks really delicious. It smells really, really good. It smells amazing. I'm dying to try one of these noodles. いただきます。Mm. Mm. The broth has a really simple flavor, kind of like a,、um, like a light soy sauce, and kind of tastes like chicken broth. That's so good. Great for the winter for sure. Nice and warm and filling. I'm excited for this one. I love desserts, especially traditional Japanese desserts and mochi, so let's try it. Oh wow, it's really squishy. Mmm. There's red bean paste inside. Can you see that? It's really soft. It's like you took a daifuku and you like melted it a little bit and made it really squishy. It's really good. Alright, well, that's it, guys. It's time to go home. I hope you enjoyed Tono Furusato Muda with me. I had a great time. It was a really interesting experience. I learned a lot about traditional Japanese farming culture and I got to eat some really, really good food. So, if you happen to be in the Iwate area, which you should be if you're coming to Japan, I really recommend that you come up here.、Um, definitely check out、um, this place because I had a really great time. And they've got lots of really cute stuff that you can buy to bring home for souvenirs and stuff. So, also check that out. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.